It's gonna take us all day to get around the corner. This has got to be our favorite spot in Grenada so far. We're not capturing enough light to keep our batteries full. There is a feeding frenzy in front of us. Our system now works in the tropics. Perfect. I'm Stephanie and this is Travis. Together we bought a Hunter 42 Passage that we called Gypsy. We sold almost everything that we owned and moved aboard. After living on Gypsy through a Toronto winter, we decided that we had to get down south. Though we've got very little sailing experience, we decided to leave it all behind in our home country, Canada, to live out our dream in sailing the world. We're so pumped to share this adventure of a lifetime. We waited out a couple of windy days here in Tyrell Bay and we're heading back around the corner over to Celine Island. We are doing a whopping 2.9 knots. It's gonna take us all day to get around the corner. Well, good thing we got all day. Just floating along. Oh, we hit 3.0 knots now. 0.1 increase. So slow, our dinghy's just chilling. We got time on our side. Back over. It's that mountain there. Blocking all the wind, all the little wind we have. Drift along. Well, at least we can drift to the other side. There it is. Now we're good. Fill her up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I saw you. Today's project is solar. We're not capturing enough light to convert it to energy uh, to keep our batteries full. We have a thousand amp hour battery bank and we only have 480 watts of solar. We have a 400 watt wind generator, but that doesn't really do what it says it's supposed to do half the time. It's kind of just like an additive. Like if I was trying to add this all up and I said, oh yeah, I got like, almost 900 watts of wind and solar, I should totally be good. I wouldn't even count uh, the wind generator as a means of energy. I would say I would count it as uh, an extra means of energy, like don't rely on it. You're gonna have a better chance capturing sunlight than you are capturing uh, wind. So now that we've lived on the boat for long enough, we figured out that we just need more solar. And then we just got the Victron MBPT controller. I can watch the history of it and we're not getting our batteries even close to float. If your battery's not getting topped up to float every now and then, you gotta you know, build your solar panels up or reduce your consumption or your usage of your amps. We were able to find a 160 watt solar panel. It's very similar to these ones that we currently have. So my thought is, we're gonna add another 160 watts. So then we will have 620 watts of solar, I think. 
or we'll have 660 watts of solar. And what I'm thinking about doing is removing one of our batteries. So we have a thousand amp hour battery bank and I'm gonna take out 250 of those amps. So then we'll have a 750 amp hour battery bank with 660 watts of solar. And I think that'll be a lot closer for us to continue charging and getting 100% every day. You wanna get them up to 100% um, as often as you can to keep the life of them going. Like right now we're floating around, we float around like 65 to 80%, we can never get it to 100. So that's why I think let's lower the battery bank and up the solar. And that should work out a little bit better for the efficiency of the batteries. I don't know if you guys have any comments, I would love to learn more about your guys' thoughts on this. Whatever the wind does is just a bonus. But I'll show you what I'm looking at for my setup. So this is over the Bimini. There's no frame or anything over the Dodger and I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to take this, turn it lengthwise. So it'll be a pretty simple change up, I think. All I need to do is change out these to a T elbow and then have the tube go out to here. And then that's it. Let's see what it looks like. I don't have a one inch piece of stainless steel tubing that's long enough because I need to make it 58 inches long. So what I call this is a, a bit of ghetto. I have a T that I'm just going to join like that and then I'll hide it underneath the panel. I'm going to make sure it's at least halfway through each shitty ass Allen keys. Makes my job a little harder. Right there. So that pipe, it's actually pretty stiff too. These are the things you do when, uh, when you don't have the means to go get exactly what you need. Pretty sure eventually I could find a proper length of tubing, but for now, this will work. I'll just have to figure out how I want to, uh, where I want to place it in adjacent to the solar panels. But right now I'm just gonna play. Yeah, halfway. Like that's plenty strong. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. It's just you. <laughs> this is one of the concerns we had. <clears throat> Steph's fine. Yeah. She doesn't, she's not high enough. But no. Yeah, she's not high enough to walk through. It's kind of at a deadly point for me. So yeah. Walk around this corner. Obviously. You bung up your head enough. Yeah, I hit my head enough. Yeah. Obviously you get to know where your stuff is on your boat. And I would put a little piece of foam here. But the only thing is what I liked about the other one is I can hold on when we're sailing. Oh yeah. This, obviously it's not attached to anything, it's just vice gripped on one side, but that's a lot of panel hanging off the back for it to be kind of flimsy. And... 
Mm. So the only benefit with this is we get a bunch more shade over the back of the boat, which is cool. So now this wall will be shaded and then... Mm. Thinking, thinking, pondering, questioning. Just used another T bracket as a as a guide. One down, one to go. This has got to be our favorite spot in Grenada so far. <laughs> Not really a concorn. <laughs> Would you say this is your favorite spot? Yeah. So calm. It's just lovely. Like you got a reef all around you, a nice tiny little island. And then there's a current constantly going through so it keeps the waves kind of at a minimum and your boat's always pointed in either way. So you don't go sideways and, and start to roll. You're either, if there is any waves, like we had it the other day, it just kind of went. seahorse, which is no problem, but very little. Then we got this sunset. Then you get a great sunset. And there's Nice white sand, clear light blue water during the day. It's like super pretty. Like, nope, I just found a beer. Perfect. Not open, but there's it's pressurized, but there's nothing in it. What kind of sorcery is this? But it's pressurized, like it's not like a it doesn't have a hole in it. Today we're heading back to Rondi for a night. Hopefully it'll be calm. Uh, it was a little rolly last time. And then we're gonna stay the night and then we're gonna head back to St. George because we gotta buy another solar panel. So let's go. There is a feeding frenzy in front of us and we're heading over to where all the birds are. It is crazy. found those at 20 feet of water. Yeah, just found them as we're swimming to the beach over here. 20 feet of water. I need some new working glasses, like ones that I don't care if I get scratched or anything. I think these might clean up quite nicely. <laughs> Can you see through them or are they all scratched? No, they're really clear. They're just, they're just dirty. They fit your face nicely. Are you 
relaxed. Not the moment. <laughs> You're crushing me. <laughs> we are enjoying. You're fine. We are enjoying our last evening, I guess, away from the main island. It's been a great, how many days? Like 12, 13 days? 11 days. And once we get a few things done, back in Grenada, we're to come right back here. Oh. Yeah, this is the best place. We're up bright and early, left before 7 a.m. Travis likes to leave early. Travis likes to wake up early only when he knows that we're gonna be heading out and sailing somewhere. We are heading back to Grenada. The winds aren't strong enough for how uh, wavy it is, so kind of getting a little bit of flank in the sail, but it's not too bad. Cruising along, not too fast, like four and a half knots, but. Oh, we're doing five now? Okay, we're doing five knots. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like it. Whoa, it's just a little like this right now. From the waves. We got waves coming all over. We got some coming to the port, some coming to the starboard, and then some coming straight down the laneway. A little rolly. Now we're cooking. We're going 7.5. Flying. Sucks. And it's even rollier than that at times. And I gotta do some drilling through some stainless tubes, and I don't wanna be rolly, so I might have to throw out a stern anchor. We'll see. Just working on tying them into uh, the other three panels. Can't wait to see how much power we get. Well, it's dark, but at least it's not hot. It's a little rolly on the boat still, and I'm just trying to tap and die on top of the archway because I can't pull this off because I just don't have the Allen key for this one to undo, to take the pull out, to do it on somewhere stable. But I was able to get one hole. Now let's just see if I can tap it. So rocky. So this is taking me a lot longer than I thought pretty happy with the outcome. For what I had, I just had to make whatever I had on the boat work to add another solar panel. Looks pretty clean. There's a bit of it hanging off the edge, but right now I'm gonna test to see if that's actually a problem. And if it becomes a problem, like if it's too windy, I'll have to support the back of the panel. But we've been in 90 kilometer per hour winds the other day and they were fine, so. Should be okay then. <laughs> I drilled and tapped all the bolts. So then there's, it's nice and clean on the bottom of the stainless because I didn't want to see any screw holes. Because we have our back stay here, I had to make a gap through the two to allow it to have movement. But also I have these handles that I've installed. So it stops the main sheet from getting trapped underneath the panel and if it, we had an accidental jibe it won't rip the panels off so the ropes will never go underneath the panel so i needed to make them match up worked out pretty good though because yeah like i just said it gives us the spacing for the backstay however it let a lot of sun in and i don't want sun coming in what i like about these panels is not only do we get more energy out of them it creates a lot more shade on the back part in the middle of the day. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a sunshade between them. So all I've done is just measured it out, hemmed all the edges. Right now I'm just going around the back stay. It's kind of the only 
only bummer, but I'll do a clean job. And then I'm just riveting them on. So, show you what it looks like uh, in a minute here. We didn't remove a battery at all. So we have a thousand amp hour battery bank. And just by adding that one solar, we're now hitting float stage with our batteries by like 11, 12, and some days even earlier. So that's freaking sweet. So just needed an extra 160 watts of solar and now we're, we're hitting our target every day. So back when we didn't have we always need to be under bulk stage for like 10 hours. And then when we added the solar, now we're hitting float stage, float stage for like five hours, float stage, three hours. So it's really cool. So our system now works in the tropics. We got solar. Yay, we got power. It's awesome. <laughs> if you're listening to that going, huh? What does all that mean? I'm going to try my best at explaining it to you how I understand it in layman's terms. So the MPPT charge controller that we have is the device that monitors the energy that we receive through our solar panels before it goes into our batteries. And our batteries have different stages of charging. So the bulk charging stage is where the charge controller is going to dump as much energy as it can into the batteries to charge it up. The absorption stage is where the batteries are almost full and the rate of charge changes and energy kind of trickles in until they're full. At float stage, the batteries are full and it's really just maintaining its charge at a float and keeping it at full. So that's the stage that we want to be in as early as possible in the day. So it's great that we're getting to float stage before lunchtime more often than not and we're able to get our batteries up to 100%. So that's it for this week's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to give us a thumbs up to show us some support. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. I like record something and then it turns. I'm like, okay. And then by the end of it, the boats turn the other way. Oh, he's like a wet dog.